Hey guys, so today I am filming a very impromptu video and the only reason why it's impromptu is because I totally forgot I had this and I was going to do like a hyped up video on it slash first impressions type of thing. Sorry about the background. I mean, I'm sorry, but not sorry. This is just my life. I share an office with my husband and my office is also my laundry room. So <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do when you have a smaller house and that's my life. So anyways, oh, somebody's coming to the door. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Today, since I'm getting ready anyways, and I don't really have any like important, super important things I need to do, I decided to test out this Wonder Brow One Step Brow Gel. I have seen this stuff all over Facebook, like all over Facebook. It pops up for some reason for your like suggested this or that, and apparently this is like an eyebrow gel that lasts for days. Like it's supposed to last for days. It says that it's a complete safe one step solution to eyebrow shape and hair loss. It's exclusive permafix technology and proprietary hair fiber complex creates the perfect brow in less than two minutes that will last until you decide to take it off. Kind of terrifying. Wonder Brow contains an exclusive blend of hair-like fibers. Oh no. Whenever I hear hair-like fibers, it takes me back to those fiber lashes that I tried and they burned my eyes and looked horrible. Uh, uh, it says combined with specially treated pigments designed to fasten onto skin and hair. That sounds terrifying. I don't know. The hair fiber complex is then fused into a permafix gel that creates a flexible matrix locking the natural color and hairs onto your brows. The result are naturally looking perfectly shaped eyebrows that last for days. Eee. Anyways, I decided to try this today and I have a few other videos to film so I pray to God that this doesn't look too bad, especially if it doesn't come off. But this is what it looks like. It comes with this. I got this off of Amazon. I'll leave the link below. I kind of just guessed my hair color. Not sure if that'll work. This is in black brown. I believe the two options were like really light or really dark. So this is the only one I have. There are no directions on here. I was kind of, oh wait, here they are. As I say, like, is this like, I, I was a little confused. Like, is this like a brow gel that you just put on? Because if so, I don't think that's going to work for me because I hardly have any brows to work with. Like I have to shape my brows to what I want them to be with the Anastasia dip brow. Okay. It says getting started. Wonder brow should be applied to clean, dry eyebrow. Prep eyebrow with an oil free cleanser prior to application. Well, I just did my makeup. What the, what? <clears throat> I just did my makeup because I don't ever do my eyebrows first, like ever, ever. So I'm gonna have to take my makeup off my eyebrows. Why don't I have any cotton pads down here? Eee, cotton pad, cotton pad, where would I be? All right, I'm just gonna be real ghetto and use this hat that I have because I don't feel like going upstairs. <laughs> with makeup remover. Oh, this is an in-depth review, guys. Where's my mirror at? There it is. And I'm gonna use that to remove the makeup on my eyebrows. Alrighty, this video is is kind of a little janky. Little janky indeed. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. Here we go. Put the hat in the dirty laundry. Luckily, we're already down here in the laundry room. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I wiped away some of my foundation. Okay, so we'll get those to dry. Step one's complete. Step two, shaping and filling in eyebrows. Start by using Wonder Brow to fill in the sparse spots. That's like all of my eyebrow. Uh, with short feathery strokes, apply in the direction of hair growth. You can start by applying just to problem areas or entire eyebrow for a fuller, more defined looking brow. Experiment to see what looks best. It's always easier to apply little by little and layer for a deeper color or more area coverage. Once you've achieved desired shapes, soften and distribute the color by grooming brows upwards and outwards with Wonder Brow brush or any clean mascara brush to comb hairs into place and further work product into brows. This should be done while product is still wet. If you need more product, reapply where needed and groom with makeup brush. I already can tell you that I have this fear of it just being like too much, like too dark, and you guys know me, I'm very heavy handed. Perfect example, blush and bronzer, very heavy handed. Eyeliner, very heavy handed. And I just have a feeling that I'm just gonna look like Bert and Ernie right now after I'm done with this. So it's basically just this little mascara tubey thing. Oh my gosh, that's like a nail polish one. This reminds me, totally reminds me of that brow tint that I d tried on um, in that Korean beauty haul. Do you remember that? Mm, that did not go over well. So. Oh Lord, we're gonna try this going in. So short hair like strokes. Oh, see already I feel like it's too much. I'm, I'm just too much. I mean, if this thing lasts for days and it looks good and natural, I am all for it and super excited, but this brush just isn't like narrow enough for me. See, already I'm getting, I'm losing control of the situation. Not good, not good. I can't, 
can't get the desired shape that I want because this brush is like a nail polish brush. It's not, it's not like an angled eyeliner brush, which is what I usually use. Oh hell, what is going on? Anyone else's mouth is hanging wide open when they're doing their makeup? Yes. I mean, it's not my best work. I don't understand how people got the right shape for their eyes, eyebrows with this brush. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so work it. See, I feel like this just wipes it all away. I feel like I'm wiping all of my hard work away right now. Look at, I just wiped away all of that spot doing that. I don't see how this is effective. I feel like this is just taking away everything that I just did. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but that does not look good. Whoops, too much. Why is that spot there? Do you guys see it? Oh, I feel like I'm getting out of control here. I don't feel good about this, that's for sure. I don't like this at all. Do you see that splash? And the more I work with it, the worse it seems to be getting. Can I get a refund, please? And this is where like 500 people tell me I'm doing it wrong. This is like infuriating me. Let that dry and work on the other eyebrow and see how it does. But for now, that don't, I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but it doesn't look the greatest either. Oh my gosh, this looks horrible. I can't seem to make this work. When I do a light application, it looks too feathery and that's, I can't even get the shape right. And then when I do heavy, it's too dark and then I try to brush it out and then that happens. And then like my eyebrows are really crusty right now and because I don't have a lot of eyebrow hair, it just makes the situation worse. So this is not working for me guys. I can't, I can't get this to work at all. And again, a bunch of people probably tell me I'm doing it wrong, but I'm just following the directions and this doesn't look good. This one doesn't look super bad, but it doesn't look very good in person either. Like it looks really, I, it doesn't look good. Like you can see all of my darker real hairs and then it just looks like there's, I've colored them in, which is what I did, but you don't want it to look like that. You know what I mean? So hopefully it removes with one of my iPad cloth thingies. Let's see, it says to remove, apply a waterproof cleanser directly in the same area that you applied it, rub gently and allow to soak. <sighs> I don't know, I really wanted this to work. Like, don't get me wrong, I really, really, really wanted this to work. But it's not working very well. I don't know, maybe I need to give it another try. Well, it's on there. It's like not wanting to come off, that's for sure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ow, that does not feel good. That stuff is totally like stuck on my eyebrows. Like where my eyebrows were, it's on. Like Donkey Kong. It's like, I don't want to come off. Too bad, lady. Come off my eyebrow, please. It's mad at me for not liking it. I'm gonna try it one more time because this side's kind of growing on me. It's not perfect, but it's not bad either. I don't mind the way that the one on the left looks. So I'm gonna try it again with an open mind this time. Mm. Oh shoot, Let's wipe you away while we still can. Do light feathery strokes. That stuff kind of hurt coming off, not gonna lie. I can't get this to work, like this is not this is, this is not worth the hassle at all. Like, it looks like it could be decent. <sighs> I'm gonna make this work. I also have this issue of the fact that I have hairs there and so lots of the products clinging onto the hairs and then my bare skin, nothing's really like happening. So it looks really bad. Okay, I think, I think, I think I got something workable. Oh, they're two different shapes, shit. I feel like it's still off size wise, what do you guys think? I think it is. What is off with it though? All right guys, so that's the best that I could do with what I had. It is a lot more work. I'm gonna try to clean up underneath the brow. I normally would when I use my dip brow and see if that helps. The fact that it 
stays in place so well because the Anastasia Dip Brow, if you rub it the wrong way, which I constantly forget that I'm wearing makeup, so I'll rub my face forgetting that I have makeup on, I lose half an eyebrow. It happens more often than I'd like to admit, but I'll be out in public and I'll be like, oh my gosh, and I'll rub my face and then half my eyebrows missing. So I do like that it stays in place so well. Like you guys saw, it took forever to get my right eyebrow off with my makeup remover. That actually doesn't look so bad. Let's do this side. It doesn't look perfect, but when are my eyebrows ever perfect? It does feel a little bit crustier, like I can kind of feels like I sprayed hairspray in my eyebrows, but that's all right, like I can deal with that. If this stuff stays in place like it promises to, I might be okay with that. So I'm gonna put the rest of my makeup on and then kind of go about the rest of my day and then see how long it lasts and then I'll check back in and I think that'll be the deciding factor if 30 something minutes is worth it on my eyebrows <laughs> to use this stuff. So yeah, I don't like how that little arch looks though, but I can live with that because I can perfect that. This is my first time using it. Okay guys, so I just got done filming a few other videos, but this is what that eyebrow stuff looks like in natural daylight, like full on natural daylight. It's not bad, like it's not bad. It's not, I don't know, it's not terrible, it's not bad. I don't know, I'm trying to decide if I like it or not. Like I have a love-hate relationship with it right now just because it took so long to put on and I don't know if it was worth it yet. And also it just, I'm not used to maybe this color or the texture of the look, I don't know. Hey John, look at my eyes real quick. Come, come, come look at, come look at my beautiful face. Look at my eyebrows, stop it. Look at my eyebrows. <laughs> That's not looking at my eyebrows. So update and kind of ending finale of this tried it, didn't like it, hyped up, whatever video. I did not like the Wonder Brow stuff. I'll show you a picture of yesterday when I woke up in the morning and what it looked like after I had washed my face the night before and slept on it. It looked terrible. So, yeah, I would say this stuff does not hold up, which kind of defeats the purpose of spending a half an hour to 45 minutes on uh, working on your eyebrows. I'm actually looking over the footage and editing stuff right now, and in doing so, I'm realizing that you guys, like, for some reason, the quality of the camera is just making everything look better, which, you know, I don't hate all the time, because Lord knows I love looking better than I do in real life, but... The problem with that is I can't show you how bad the eyebrows actually looked in person. So throughout the day, um, the actual like where my hair was was getting crustier and crustier and they stood out more because they were so crusty. And then because you have to use like a clean base, like you have to, you know, not, no makeup or anything like that, you sh I chose to do my eye makeup and stuff last because I wanted to, you know, carve out with concealer and all of that. And because I did that, any powder from, you know, anything kind of got on it and wouldn't brush off. So my eyebrows had this like weird fine powder. You could tell that I tried to wipe it off kind of thing going on. And they just didn't look right in person. Like they just looked very crusty, very just like not good. You know what I mean? So you can't really see that in the video footage, unfortunately. You can kind of see it in the picture that I inserted because the iPhone camera is a little bit less forgiving. But I don't think that this stuff was worth my money. I only spent, I think, like 20 something dollars on it on Amazon. I understand that it works really well for other people, but for me, it just did not work at all. I'm gonna stick to my Anastasia Dip Brow because I really love this stuff and I think it looks great on my eyebrows and it's easier to work with. Uh, but yeah, so that's about that. That's what I think. A lot of you guys asked me if I'd consider microblading my eyebrows. I've thought about that before. I know my friend Sam gets hers done all the time, but honestly, I'm not a huge 100% fan of what it looks like on everybody. Some people it looks great, some people it doesn't. Um, also, because I have one eyebrow that's higher than the other, I don't know, I just don't trust somebody to permanently mark my eyebrows, if that makes sense. And honestly, when I don't have any makeup on, I think I look funnier with eyebrows when I don't have any other makeup on, like concealer, foundation, anything like that. I think my sparse, bald eyebrows and my naked face kind of go together. So I don't think I would ever do that. Also, it's really expensive and the maintenance on it is just, I don't know. If I'm gonna get something tattooed, it's not gonna get my eyebrows. Like, you guys know I love tattoos. I'd rather get some artwork put on my body. So no, I don't think I'll get microblading done on my eyebrows. Of course, never say never. I always say never and something always changes, but for now, I don't think I'll do that. I think I'll just stick to my Anastasia Dip Brow. So, in conclusion, Wonder Brow 2, not very good. I wouldn't suggest getting it if 
you're anything like me, uh, or if you do get it, make sure there's a good return policy, but it was a fail for me, and I'm not quite sure why it's such a hyped up product. So there's my honest opinion on that. I'm gonna let you guys go. Give this video a thumbs up. If you like videos like this, comment below. If there's a new product that you want me to try, or a hyped up thing that you want me to try, did order Stitch Fix because one of you guys were like, can you try the Stitch Fix? Because everybody's talking about it. It's popping up on my Facebook. I've had a few people actually mention that and I've never done it before, but my first box is coming in a week. So I will have a video on that and my honest opinion on that coming up soon. So yeah, I will talk to you guys all in my next video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And as always, thank you for watching.